Hey guys, Kigur here, and I got another quick video for you guys. This is actually a video request from a couple people. One was recently from uh, Dombev from Twitter, asking uh, what's in my dock if I can just show it off. Uh, I, uh, keep in mind, this is not a Mac. This is Windows. Uh, I'm just using uh, Rocket Dock as my main, uh, pretty much everything I like. You know, my central uh, place for applications and everything. My desktop, as you can see, is pretty you know clean. There's really no icons. Uh, you can't see it all, obviously, but. I do have some icons at the top that's just stuff like documents that I have to put into folders or, you know, just important documents I keep out just because I have to edit them. Um, but other than that, everything else is pretty much uh, centralized in my dock, and I even have some things that take away the taskbar, uh, and I just use the dock pretty much as my taskbar, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So uh, first off here, uh, now this is on my SSD, keep that in mind, I'm on the Intel SSD, I have another dock on my regular hard drive, but uh, this one I've customized a little bit too, so... Uh, here you have Mozilla Firefox, my main browser, obviously. Mozilla Thunderbird, and I actually have everything pretty much matching with the theme, along with the background. So as you see here, my theme. Here's Firefox, and then, you know, has a NASA night launch theme. So uh, there's my Firefox. Uh, Mozilla Thunderbird, my mail client. Feed Reader, now this is something I'm using also in conjunction with, uh, I use this, and I do also like to use, uh, what do you call that, uh, Google Reader. So, but Feed Reader is just a cool little application that gets your RSS feeds out for you, uh, you can put everything, uh, you know, from XML files or just o what is it, OML. You can make your own master F uh, master RSS file, so you can com make a whole bunch of feeds into one feed, and it's really cool, really cool reader. Again, it's called Feed Reader. I'll try and leave links to everything that's in my doc, the everything that you can download at least. Um, but yeah, okay, Cam. Uh, this is my old Cam Studio recorder. I used to use Cam Studio, but now I'm using Camtasia. Uh, here you have hotkeys. I actually just recently did a video on this. Rain meter is a uh, application that lays out uh, lays out like these. Uh, I don't know what to say. It's kind of like Samurai's if you ever heard of it. It just adds these little cool uh, HUDs and you know little calendar type things that you can download off the internet. And then, you know, uh, for example, I have a sidebar, a uh, no like notes one. So they all just kind of lay on your desktop for desktop customization. And actually, feed reader is opening because I clicked it earlier, but I'll let that load up while I go through uh, more of my doc. Okay, so this is feed reader real quick. I guess I should just uh, show you guys real quick what it is. Uh, very nice interface. So here is this blank interface is a uh, just space for your you know feeds to read, and then you have everything else pretty much set in there. So yeah, uh, obviously this isn't all about feed reader, so I don't want to get too much into it. So let me just close out of that real quick, exit, and I'll close the application. Okay. So next, after Rain Meter, I have my video. Now this is actually a stack. This is a stack is just like the Mac, but this is an uh, add-on I downloaded for Rocket Doc. Now here I have Blender. I'm just getting into it. I really, <laughs> I really uh, am not that good at Blender. I have Quick Cam for my Logitech camera, which I haven't really used that much often with my new Vario. Uh, Vegas Pro 8. Now this is the Pro I have I've had for you know ever since I've been doing Vegas videos. And if I just click Open Folder. It simply just opens up the folder with all those stacks or uh, you know, applications in it. KK Tray Server is an application I use as a start menu type thing, or just kind of like stacks also. What it does is it opens up the start menu type interface. Where I, if I open it, I don't know if I can move it over, but it opens up this little dialog. I'm trying to see if I can drag it, but I can't. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to drag the video over just a little bit so you can see it here. And I'm going to again open up KK Tray Server, and there it is. Uh, it opens up on my other monitor, so it's a little stack for different applications because of it works in conjunction with this other application I have, which is called uh, Kane Taskbar Remover. But I'll get to that when I get to it. Uh, my next, my audio stack that includes Audacity for editing, uh, Audible for this is where I download all my audio books and everything like that. Fubar 2000, another media playing application, a quick one. Uh, I like it just because it's more simpler and less you know intensive than iTunes is, and of course iTunes is there. Um, Air. I have two Air applications. That's Twirl and RTM Notifier for Remember the Milk. That's a reminder, you know, t to do list task service on the internet. VNC for Virtual Network Connections. That's for VNC Connection, the viewer, and Synergy to connect, uh, share keyboard and mouse with my laptop. Now, Kane BT Taskbar Remover. I'm actually, uh, I guess I can get to it now. Uh, if you click it simply, uh, it does what it does. It removes the taskbar. And, um, it does other things like it doesn't let you allow you to use the Windows hotkeys. So Windows is a uh, the Windows key doesn't work now. This is all because if you want to set your own hotkeys or anything like that, and you just want to get rid of the taskbar. 
So it's a pretty cool application. It has a lot of features in it, like suspend hotkeys, all this other cool stuff. Um, now, if you want to, you know, obviously get your taskbar back, you can just restart explorer.exe. Uh, apps is my other stack. I have Display Fusion in here, Evernote, FileZilla, Magic Disk, uh, which is for my ISOs and stuff like that, and Skype. Here I have my little Adobe collection, Adobe CS3, CS3 for Flash, and CS3 for Fireworks. Here's my My Documents folder. I've been trying to customize the icons a little bit. I haven't put that in a stack, but you know, there's just my documents, obviously. CD, obviously just ejects, uh, actually this just ejects, uh, and opens and closes my uh, DVD drive. Alpha Clock is what I use to replace the clock that's uh, taken away when there's no taskbar. I set a hotkey so when I hit Control Shift T, it actually announces the time to me, or every hour it'll announce the time. Really cool clock. I'll leave a link to it in the video description. Next, obviously, just Control Panel, uh, Recycling Bin, and the Dock Settings. And I guess if you want a really quick, uh, obviously, take a look at my Dock Settings because this is a video about the Dock. So again, I'm using Rocket Dock. Uh, language is just obviously English. Run at startup. Uh, minimized Windows to dock. I used to do that, and I do that when I don't have my taskbar, but it kind of gets annoying, so I like to use Alt Tab, much more uh, uh, handy. Running applications indicators, position, uh, obviously bottom, stuff like that. It's on my second monitor. I'm using Vista Black style. Uh, for, oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. For the uh, behavior, I'm using Uber Icon Effects. Um, also, for everything else that just stays over, now I want to actually enable pop up on mouse over that way if it's behind a window that's enabled. And that's about it. Those are my settings. So, uh, yeah, guys, check out RockDoc. Awesome, awesome application. It's made by uh, Stardoc, also, same, you know, same as Object Doc. But yeah, guys, that's what's in my doc. Uh, and it's really compact. I really like it. You know, just really really does a much more neater job than icons and having a lot of stuff over my desktop so hope you enjoyed this video guys don't forget to check out the site at www.adrianstech.com email me adrianstech at gmail.com with any questions video requests or concerns and comment rate and subscribe thanks for watching guys